All right, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look out at what Adobe has come out with that is new inside Adobe Camera Raw. Now we have a series of JPEG images here and what we're going to be using is the Camera Raw filter to kind of go back into Adobe Camera Raw to take a look at these new features. Now, almost everything that we're gonna see today has to do with artificial intelligence and portraits. So if you want to get to the camera raw filter and you don't know how to do it from Photoshop, it's really easy. What you will do is go up to filter and then drop down here to the camera raw filter, which on a Mac is command shift A and on a PC would be control shift A. So go ahead and select that and that should bring up camera raw and wonderful, here we are. So when you look at the program, you really won't see any differences. The first differences we're gonna take a look at are some presets that they've added. And these are adaptive presets. So come up here to this funky little symbol right there that says presets and we'll click on that. And right here, you'll see what we have called adaptive portrait. And under Adaptive Portrait, we have a variety of different options. So Enhance, Glamour, Gritty, Enhance Eyes, Whiten Teeth, Darken Eyebrows, Texture Hair. And what an Adaptive Portrait means is, and we'll go to Eyes and do this first. You can see it, it brightened the eyes and it did it way too much. And an Adaptive Portrait, and remember just a preset in general is just normal adjustments that you would have inside of Lightroom. It's not doing anything special that you can't do. But when we lower the, what I would call almost opacity, it's reducing all of those sliders in a percentage or evenly so that they stay the same. But we can reduce the amount of what this is doing here just by sliding this slider. And it's moving, whether it's one, two, or 14 different sliders all equally as we take that out, or you could actually add more if you go past 100 as well. So that's what is happening with an adaptive portrait. So we have different options. We can click on enhance portrait and give it a second and it's gonna give us this enhanced portrait look. If it's too much, we can dial it out. We've got glamor portrait. We can click on glamor portrait. It does its little thing, gives us glamor portrait. We have gritty portrait, giving us gritty portrait. And that's basically it. You can go through here. These are just a bunch of little auto presets that you can apply to your image. And if you like them, you like them. If you don't like them, don't use them. And that is the preset section. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. I'm just gonna hit cancel because we're not gonna use that. Do you wanna save these? Absolutely not. All right, so we've got this guy here. And the next thing that we're gonna take a look at is probably the biggest feature inside Adobe Camera Raw. So I will use the Command Shift A to go back into Raw. And what we're gonna do is come up here to the new selection or masking icon, and we're gonna click that. And now is where you're gonna see some differences. First difference, we now have the option to pick the background. So I can click on background, and just like that, it did an awesome job in picking this background that we see right here. Then I can go in here, I could do any of these adjustments that we see to that image. All this is doing is making a mask of the background that's been incorporated into the program. I'm gonna hit Command Z to go out of that. We still have sky and we still have subject. Other options that we have new are objects. And down here, you'll notice we have something called people. And since there's only one person in this image, it's only making a selection of one person, but you will see when we get to an image with multiple people, you'll see their faces right up here. And it will allow us to not only select one person, but multiple people. So in this case, it's recognizing automatically that there's a person. If I want to select them, I can click on it. Now, this is the cool part of this program. It's not just making a selection of the whole subject, but you can see right here, if that's what I wanted, I could just go ahead and use that, create a mask, and it would create a mask of the whole person. But I can divide that mask up into individual masks, over here, you'll notice that we have the ability to divide the image up into the face skin, so I can turn that on, body skin, eyebrows, whites of the eyes, iris and pupil, lips and hair. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and turn on all of these so you can see how this works. 
Remember, you can do entire person and this whole image will be one mask. Or you can select all these, check this little box down here that says create seven separate masks, hit create, and just like that, now we've got lips, iris, all this stuff in individual masks. So if I wanted to come in here and work on a specific area, like in this case is the hair, I can select the hair, and then I can come in here and make adjustments to just the hair. If I wanted to come down and work on just the whites of the eyes, I can select that, and then I could come in here and brighten that area up just to whiten the white areas of the eye. So you can work on them individually or as a whole if you were to save it as everything is one mask. So we'll go ahead and reset all these masks and I'll show you how to do it as one person. We'll select that. We're just gonna use the entire person, we'll hit create. And now you can see it's just made a selection of the whole body. So if we wanted to just brighten him as a whole, we have the ability to do that. So go ahead and hit cancel and get out of that. And let's slip on over to this image with a family walking down the sidewalk. So once again, we'll hit the command shift A to bring up the Adobe Camera Raw. We can come on over here to the masking option. We're gonna select that. And this time, just give it a second, you're gonna see it's gonna find all of these different faces. If I'm looking at this image, and this is helpful a lot because different people have different skin tones. And sometimes you need to brighten certain people up and not other ones. So let's say in this case that this boy right here, we wanted to actually darken him a little bit. We can come over, find his picture, click on him. In this case, I don't think I need to do it individually, but I could just pick his skin tones if I wanted, but I'm gonna do the entire person just because it makes it easier. Darken him a little bit. And then if I wanna adjust this little girl right here, I can hit create new mask. I can do it from select people and pick her little picture. Do the entire person again. We'll select here, or in this case, we'll brighten her up a little bit. And that's allowing me to do that. The cool thing is you get these awesome selections. I can tell you, I've used this for a little bit and it does a really, really good job of making accurate selections. After that, everything is basically the same. One thing I'd like to show off before we move on is notice that in color, remember if we did selective masking before, and I think this was right, but I'm not totally positive, that we only had the hue and the saturation available and now we have added the temperature and the tint to the color. If anybody has an old version, even though it was only a few days ago, I can't remember if this was available, but I'm pretty sure it was just the hue and the saturation, but I could be wrong. All right, so that is how to make a selective adjustment using people inside of Adobe Camera Raw. We'll go ahead and hit cancel. If you're finding the information in any of these videos helpful, if you could please give me a thumbs up, that would be wonderful. If you would like to subscribe and get future videos as they come up, because I'm gonna be doing a whole series on Lightroom right here, that would be great as well. And one thing I wanted to test out just to see if this would work, is everybody knows I downloaded this dog. I wanna see what will happen is if we use the people mask on a dog, just to see if it will recognize it or what it will do. So let's give it a test. Camera raw. Come up here, we'll give it a second. And this is unable to select people in this photo. So the computer was actually able to recognize that this isn't a person, but it's a dog in the image, which is pretty amazing. So what we'll do is we'll come on over here to something that's new called objects. And this is our object selection tool. Just like we have in Photoshop, we can select that. And we have two different ways to make a selection in this process. One is using this brush, which is very similar to the quick selection brush and a rectangle. So we'll use the quick selection brush first. You just kind of paint over the area. All you're doing is telling the computer, hey, this is the location of the area that I want you to make the selection from. All right, it doesn't need to be super accurate. It will analyze it and you can see, wow, just like that, it made this awesome mask. I'm gonna hit Command Z to go back we also, when using object selection, have a rectangle tool. So I can just take this rectangle, put it around the dog. It should make the exact same selection. And just like that, we're now using this object selection tool 
to make a selection. I could come in here and you can see and adjust this and it would just adjust the dog in the image. That is the new object selection tool. So let's go ahead and hit cancel. And the next thing we're gonna take a look at is this new content delete function. So we're gonna to go to camera raw filter. Make sure you don't use this one cause that will just apply the last filter that you did to this image, which wouldn't work. We wanna go here to camera raw filter. We'll bring up camera raw. And in this case, we're gonna go up here to this healing brush and click on this. And you'll see we've got the addition of some, a new option, which is called content aware remove. Photoshop already has a content aware remove filter. I personally do not like these options in Lightroom. I think if you want to do this and you know how to use Photoshop, do it in there. It is a far superior process and allows you to be non-destructive. So I will go over this really simple. I can control the size of my brush and I'm just going to paint over the bird. And as all I'm doing here is saying, this is the area that I wanna select. And you can see it tried to remove that as good as possible. Now, it missed this little spot. I can hit fresh and see if it does a better job. It kinda did a better job. Now, picking up this little dark spot, I'm guessing from this bird over here. So what we can do is hold the command or control button and, and make a selection. And you're saying, hey, this is the area that I want you to look at when you fill in that other area. And we can let go of that and do it over here so we don't of where the bird might have been. It's still picking this little area up. It's not a huge deal. We can either paint over this again and it did it fine, or we could use one of the other stamps to remove it. But that is the new content aware move tool. You'll see when you get into an image where it's much more complicated, it really does not do a good job. But that's all we have for today. That is everything that is basically new inside Adobe Camera Raw for 2023. We do have a Facebook group and there's a very specific reason I created this. If you want the information, it's in the description below. But a lot of comments I get, people are asking me questions and I cannot help them because I need to see what the issue is. Facebook allows you to either post an image or a video, and it makes it really easy for me to give you the answer to whatever your problem is.